It's time to find out who are the fastest hunters in the US in the Monster Hunter World Iceborne USA Championship. The tournament consists of two rounds of time attack challenges where everyone has the same choice of loadouts. In the first round, 60 teams of two competed to see who could defeat a Bambaro the fastest. Then the four teams with the quickest times moved on to the finals, where they must now race to slay a mighty Namiel. Whichever team claims victory the fastest wins and will be crowned champions. The first team was Social Dissonance with players Omnitoad and Shepard. Chris, what do you think we can expect from these two players? I mean, you know, Shepard, he was the champion 2018, one of the two champions. Um, they were also really fast with Bamboo, but we'll see now. They practice a lot, Namiel. A lot of hours went into this. Um, we'll see. Can I have some hype for our boys, Shepard and Amito, please? Let's go. All right. Ooh, looks like we have Lance and Heavy Bogan. This is not a comp we expected to see a lot of. We were told about a secret comp that is very powerful. Let's see if this is it. They have chosen to go over to the other side of the stage. Maybe they got something planned. I mean, the Lance player, he has a Temporal Mantle, so that's definitely going to be interesting to see if he makes use of it at the beginning, but no. That's right, they see, we see them both clutch flying over. Ooh, maximum use, one player tenderizing, while the other is going over for the wall bang, right? Namiel's so, down. Namiel is unraged, so this is where they make use of this wall bang here. They're trying to get some damage in, and also maybe possibly building up some, uh, some stun damage some here with the Heavy Bowgun. Namiel isn't enraged, so they, co they can go for a second wall bang. Ooh, looks like they got it. Ooh, very nice, nice. So now is where they, where they need to do some damage. Getting the Vibrant Shot in there, so that's, that's definitely very good. Very good. Of course, so see Omnitoad making sure to not hit his partner here. We're looking pretty good. All right, there's the Enrage. They're both able to block it. Very nice. Agitator is now activated. And then we see a Heavy Bogon doing some damage here with normal ammo. So that's the ammo where, where we have the most of here with a Heavy Bogon build, build up. And we see some, some power guards with the Lance guarding the water attacks here from Namiel. That's right. It's worth noting that the Lance set in this loadout does have guard five. So the Lance will be able to stay in no problem. Oh, how uh, to save the Temporal Mantle for now and not earlier. That's interesting that they didn't use it at the beginning to be able to get the, those, those wall slams easier. But, but they're using it now to get, to get the safe um, tenderize on the head because the head is the weak point of Namiel here. So th there's, this is where they can deal the most damage. That's right. That's so right. this is what they want to tenderize. They want to be careful. It's worth noting that Namiel has now put a lot of water on the map. They want to be careful for the electrical attacks. They both looking all right. Heavy Bogun not healing just yet. Looks like they're confident that they won't get hit again. It's a bit of a risky play, but Namiel is right now in the watery state. So um, it has a lot of weak points right now uh, towards a fire element. So let's see how their strategy will turn out and if they are going to let Namiel become like in this dry state. That's right, that's right. While Namiel is quote unquote hydrated, it takes more fire damage. But once it is dried out, it will be taking more raw damage. So it looks like it's working in uh, their favor since the fire, uh, the Lancet does do a lot of fire damage. Looks like they got a clagger here. All right, going in for it. Very nice. Right, the Temporal Mantle is still up. They're doing a lot of damage. It's, all right, we got the vibe check coming. Let's see, Namiel, yes. how Namiel's you doing? Namiel's strongest big attack, and both Very of them nice. were able to, uh, to evade. Good yes. job there, team. All right, so now Namiel is dried out, so it's going to be taking less fire damage, but and more raw damage. We see that special ammo here used, Vibrant, Vibrant Snipe shot from the Heavy Bowgun. We see Shepard here looking calm. Looks like things are going to, according to plan. Namiel wasting no time to put some more water back on the field. Want to be careful here? This year is where it counts. Ooh, very oh. nice. Looks like they got another KO. Looking pretty good. This downtime is important. Now, it looks like they have some pretty good pacing here. They've gotten some topples, they've gotten some claggers, they've gotten a KO. Let's see what they got as next. We, as you can see, the Heavy Bogun is not using all the sticky ammo. It's probably also because sticky is, is a very slow ammo type. It doesn't deal that much damage. And, uh, that's right, that's the heavy right. And they got another off. topple. Very nicely done. Again, trying to keep the damage on the head. They want to chain together that, claggers and KOs and topples if they can. That looks pretty good right now. So let's see how, how quick they will be. All right. Looks like another Enrage. Very nice. Now, Chris, do you think we'll see another vibe check, you think? Namiel can do more than one in a hunt. I mean, it depends for how long this fight will go, but Namiel is definitely being challenging right now. Uh, they're having troubles getting, getting the staggers in, which they need to be able to do more damage here. Because right, I think right. the monster will be, almost be dead. Like, we're, yeah. we're close to death here. Yeah. It's not going to take that long anymore. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh we, we got a faint. One faint, unfortunate. But they do have good pace. They do have good pace. The Heavy Bogan is still here. Let's see if they can close it out. 
Unfortunate, but the, they shouldn't let it get them down. If they're really lucky here, then Heavy Bogana is able to uh, to finish this on its own before the other player spawns back into the arena. Water Blast coming. All right, Superman dive. No worries. But all right, Lance player is the back only in. thing you can do is here is Superman jumping away from those water attacks, making sure not to die. And the last player is back. So trying. Oh, there and we they are. Take it out. Very Good nice job, done, Team right. Social Dissonance. Very nice of them, boys. Little minor setback, but hey, it happens. The part is that they stay consistent. They didn't give up. They kept going. We have Sushi Bar featuring I Love Noodles and Xtel. Yeah, Team Sushi Bar, we're really excited to see them because they didn't expect to, to come this far. They didn't practice Nami Yo that much, and they're the only team of the four teams that we have that haven't put the time in that much. So they, they ex unexpectedly scored a really, really good time against Bamaro. Now, they say they're just, gonna, they're just gonna have fun, basically. They're, they're gonna have a great time, see how fast they will be. And um, they, they told us about their setup, what they're gonna choose. So we will see a charge blade, and we will see a lance. And again, their main message is that they're just trying to have fun, which just goes to show that just playing the game a lot, having a lot of experience, can get you pretty far. Let's get some applause yeah, for so our sushi team, bar, Sushi Bar, please. Noodles and Xtel. The newcomers. Let's go. Let's go. The underdogs. Let's see how they will perform. All right. Let's right into it. Like they told us, they are running Charge Blade. Lance, they are buffing up a lot. It's really good that a lot of players are going ahead with the Ancient Potion. Again, Namiel can do a surprisingly high amount of damage. Again, they're also choosing the other side. A lot of, a lot of yeah, teams it's, doing it's that. Maybe to get a, a better... All right, the roar is already in, very nice. Let's see, Temporal Mantle on right away this time. Yeah, so that will help them uh, at the beginning, definitely, to get the safe uh, wall slam in here. All right, they got the wall slam. Very similar Barely start, very good. Yeah, Going for a tenderize after, very nice. So we'll see, Chargeway has definitely the potential to get one, two, or uh, two KOs in there if you know how to play this very, very well, if you hit That's the right. head properly. And here we have the Rage Scream. Yeah, very nice counter on the Roar, very good. That's one of the benefits of lands that if played correctly, you can stay in a fight and there will be nothing to keep you away. Nice block on that counter right there. And as you can see, they, they know how to play here. Uh, they definitely, even though they haven't practiced this, it looks quite solid so far. No, that's right. They mentioned not playing Nami out, but these two weapons are their main, so they are in a nice, comfortable spot. Even yeah. when you haven't practiced a specific run, just being very comfortable with the weapon is a definite big deal. So right here, the last player has a fire element, so he will be able to deal a lot more damage in this state where Namiel is still like wet. And um, that's right, that's right. So interesting, Namiel is like kind of moving the fight away from all the water puddles, which is pretty interesting. So that's kind of good. So the Lance has Handicraft level 5 skills, so they actually have like a lot of sharpness here that they can work with, and also Guard level 5, so let's see how they will be able to make use of this. Right, right. That was really close. Uh, we almost got hit by that attack there, but we able to jump right. Oh, using Land Charge for the mount. All right, we got a mount. That was pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. That was a, that was a big play right there. Yeah. Now, there are a couple ways to optimize the mount. Like, sometimes the mounts can waste a little bit of time, but you can do a couple of things. You can retenderize spots. One player can sharpen. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see the other player yeah, I mean, here. The last day, they have speed sharpening, so as soon as it drops, they, they're oh, quickly back, right. back up at the max sharpness. Yeah. And there we go. We see the uh, charge blade going ahead, retenderizing the arms, which is pretty good. Tripping Namiel is another definitely good strategy. And the mount is over. Very nice. Ooh, right into a, a Clutch Claw in the air. The, the mount is actually a, a very, very important part, and they, they, they made use of this very well, very nicely here at the ledge, um, uh, being able to get another downtime and uh, deal some more damage here. That's right, that's right. Now we see no one is Water Blighted again. We were talking before that one thing that the Lance player definitely wants to watch out for is getting Water Blighted. Not the most dangerous Blight, but it can't waste a lot of time. Ooh, and we saw a very clutch nice counter clutch counter right there. The Lance. the Lance obviously is it's a very good weapon to right. keep the, the head tenderized here yeah. and be One of my able favorite moves. To, to get the weak point to, to, to stay soft and uh, deal, deal the max damage here. That's right. We actually just saw the Lance player use their Temporal Mantle now. Of course, Lance has a lot of ways to block and counter a lot of attacks, so maybe they didn't think they needed it until I mean, yeah, CB used it before. CB has also a Temporal Mantle, so so they can actually, like, you know, one player goes first, the other goes after with a Temporal Mantle. So it's a good, it's a good teamwork. Right, it's, right. It's They're really surprising right to here. see how well they work together. They got another wall bang, Charge Blade going for some SADs on yeah. the head. Lance keeping the consistent damage. Now, the Lance set does have flinch free, but there are some heavy attacks that can still flinch the Lance player. Right, we got the Enrage Roar right there, but they're still staying in it. See an electrical attack, no water near them, which is, again, very interesting. This Namiel has kind of kited away from its own water, pretty interesting. I mean, the Lance itself, it, it can oh, block a lot. Oh, and we got the vibe check. Oh, yeah. Let's see how you're Will doing today. To, yeah, 
Oh, oh and we got someone one fake. failed the CB. vibe check. The CB, unfortunately, it happens. couldn't it happens. get away. It's a lot of damage. The and last even player luckily could super match up out of it. That's right, that's right. Even with additional guard skills, it does a lot of damage. The chip damage could take you out if you're not at full. That was definitely an like, important clip to see from the charge blade and see if we can, uh, we can see that later again. That's right, that's right. Now, that being said, it doesn't matter. You gotta keep going. The lance player is still in here yeah. doing the damage. The charge player is coming back in a little bit. Now, the Lance obviously is a very tactical weapon here, so the Lance player has to really watch out not to catch the Water Blight, otherwise the Stamina Bar will drain really, really quickly. And right. um, the Lance is all about guarding, all about having the Stamina ready when you need it. That's right. So, but the, the Lance player here, it knows really what, knows what it's doing, yeah. so it's great. And since the Namiel has already done the vibe check, it's no longer in its hydrated state, so it's taking a bit less fire damage, but more raw damage, which is still really good. So Namiel is on the, in the air. Right, we're both launching some electricity Unfortunately, attacks. Unfortunately, those flying attacks from Namiel can waste a little bit of time. It doesn't stay in the air for too long, though. Not but like our friend Rathalos. We can see Namiel is in the dried out state now, right? That's right, right yeah. So uh, there will be different weak points. So they had to still the, the major weak point, but it will be more weak to raw damage and not so much weak anymore to fire damage. So let's see how the lands player will be able to deal damage. Um, I think for the, for the CB, it's great. Yeah. The CB has raw damage, the raw damage only. damage increase is definitely going to help. And impact yeah. file damage. Okay, we got that wave move, the one that is a lot of players are worried about, but no problem. All right, we got a clagger here, the clutch claw stagger. We see going for it. Ooh, I do that whip all the time. I hate it. <laughs> but no worries. They still got the, the clutch claw, the retenderize. And it definitely feels a tad slower than the other team, though, at this point. We can definitely see it. But uh, to be yeah. honest, the they're holding up have, yeah. great. That's like, right, yeah. The I other mean, team did have a feint too, so hey. Oh yeah. Never know. I mean, that's a fair point. All right. The bad, the unlucky part here is that RNG Namiel is doing a lot of aerial attacks, um, kind of jumping around the map, and you can't really do much. Oh, but the Namiel is the enraged, and they got a nice wall bang. Yeah. Very nice. So as soon as uh, Namiel is enraged, they're trying to go and make use of that, as many clutch claw wall slams yeah. as they possibly can. So another nice SAD on the head there. It'd be interesting to see this charge bit player as well. The player too a little bit from this perspective. Um, Ooh, very nice. Got a KO it appears final. to be that the CP player is really here again, going for SAD spam, and we yeah. know, oh! oh and it right. went down, okay. All right. Maybe that setback wasn't as bad as we thought. We gotta wait and see you know what? after. I have a feeling that was a solid choice with Charge Blade and going for SAD spam. It's, this is one of the more safe approaches. We have a beautiful mind, it's Joe and Knox. Let's see what they will pick, which That's weapons. Right. We have those five Lotus to choose from. Um, we've seen Lance, we've seen, we've seen Charge Blade. Yeah, I'm happy to see, we've seen Lance in two runs now, A, Lance represent. And we've seen Happy Bogan. So what's left to see now for us, it is definitely Dual Blades and Insect Glaive. We haven't seen that yet. Let's see if there's some changes. Because apparently, all of those five loadouts are really well, well balanced and uh, they're all a good choice here. That's for, right. For now, Chris, you just said the running Dual Blade and... Oh, yeah. We got Dual Blades oh, dual and Heavy blade. Bowgun. That's heavy a nice matchup. Right. Very nice. So Dual Blades here, one of the strongest weapons when it comes to elemental damage. So early on, they need to be able to get a lot of damage in there with a the fire element. That's right. Since that's right. These are fire Dual Blades, so they're going to hope that Namiel stays hydrated for a good amount of time. We see the double clutch claw. Ooh, Namiel swam out to the center. Hopefully that doesn't ruin anything. It looks like they're landing the first. Ooh, and we no, did not get the wall bang. The but first wall bang. Oh, and because first they did damage, it did in range right away. That is and unfortunate. Like but already. that's all right. That's all right. They can keep the damage going. Definitely not the start they probably wanted, though. So they won't be able to get the wall slam anymore. Now yeah. Now enraged. It's already so enraged. Yeah. That's where it begins. So they're trying to get maybe a KO here. Oh, sticky, but though. salvaging heavy the run a little bit. They got a KO very quick. Yeah, that heavy, heavy bogan doing Bogan's that work. Be a, a good weapon here. Yeah. And the, now, the dual blades player is taking this opportunity to deal a lot of good damage here on the head. Um, as we have uh, Namiel in the watery state. Yeah, that's right. As we mentioned, as long as Na Namiel says hydrated, it will be taking more fire damage. So they're definitely going to want to hope that Namiel does the vibe check a little later than planned to kind of optimize this run. We did see that the, the, we see Alex here. He put on the waterproof mantle right away. Again, <laughs> Dual Blade is definitely a weapon that does not want Water Blight. So hopefully yeah, they can make good use of it. It does protect him from, from a lot of these water attacks. So it's definitely going to help him there. Um, but let's see, I mean, Dual Blades is, is a fast weapon, but not very defensive, so you've got to be able to dodge. Yeah, that's right. Choose when, your positions wisely. Yes, yeah. When the vibe check comes, we're probably going to see a sheath into a quick Superman dive. Probably, But oh, we're yeah. seeing that damage right here. Nice little stagger. Very nice. Trying to, trying to get those downtimes here in, as we see Namiel cast the rain, changing the weather here in the arena as it's an Elder Dragon, and it's changing the whole atmosphere of the run. That's right. Ooh, nice dodge, right? See the Dual Blades schmooving right now. Very nice. 
Praise trying out not to be in those water puddles as Namiya launches those electricity attacks. As yeah. it hits them, whenever, whenever they are on water, it's going to hit them with electricity, and it's going to deal a lot of damage. That's right, that's right. Oh, we too. do see the Heavy Bowgun afflicted with the Water Blight right now. Not the worst thing for Heavy Bowgun, but still something you don't want to have. Oh, and we oh, actually see faint. a faint. And right, the Vibe Check right away. And the Superman Dive, though. All player, right. We we'll yeah, survived the Vibe Check, by the way. We survived good. the Vibe Check. But don't. Hey, we're staying consistent with the one faint each time. They're very consistent. <laughs> Third speed run and third faint right, here. Very nice clutch slide. Oh, we see that new uh, Dual Blade buff coming in nice. Now right, no worries. With the with the struggle at the beginning of this hunt, oh, it's gonna be really challenging now to nail. Yeah. Let's this see if they can pull it back. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Again, the feint is unfortunate, but we've seen every team faint so far. So let's see if they can stay consistent. They didn't have the start they wanted, but they're going for it again. They tried to go for oh, a and again, function, they but missed it the wall slam. So the, the distance was too long yeah. to get to the wall. So Namiel didn't get the wall slam. Yeah. So the now this time, time though, this time though, Namiel is not enraged. They're going for a second one. Hopefully they can get oh, it. Come on. This is, oh my, Ooh. are you serious? That can't That's be real. What the hell? Like, this is the, the worst <laughs> yeah. RNG I have is, ever witnessed in this my is life when you complain. as a Monster Hunter player. Ladies and gentlemen, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. Like I said, the RNG gets us all Nemiel. With these guys, it's just, he keeps running to the center, but they're still keeping up that damage. Let's see if they can pull it back. They're trying to keep it up. The, 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 the heavy bogan with the normal shots, trying to get the consistent damage in there. The, the dual blades player still has the, the waterproof mantle, which lasts for a long time Ooh, here. Little counter right there. Namiel has the ability to, if it gets staggered, it can do a quick little counter attack. We see that little slip and slide going into work there. Going to get out of the sway of this wave attack. They're still doing good. They're still doing good damage. Unfortunate without the wall bangs, but they're good. they keep going. Let's see if they can do it. As we expected, Namiel is just being an absolute challenge here. To speedrun it, it's a very difficult to predict monster, a very difficult uh, monster to, uh, to face here in the arena, but let's see That's how right. fast they will be at the end. We see the dual plate player moving in and out of demon mode. Oh, very nice. Was that a KO? Like the We're going to get a, with the, we might get a view here. of the head here. That is a KO. Very nicely done. Oh, going for a little slide there for the bounce oh, attack. I'm not sure if that was planned. Yeah. Over Namiel. Very, very stylish. All right. They've been able to keep the arms consistently tenderized, and Dual Blade yeah. does have the ability to it, trip and topple very a often. It's spot to attack for the Dual Blades, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, definitely. Head is a little high for the Dual Blades, so hitting the arms is really nice. The Dual Blades healing up right now. No, the Heavy Bogan is trying to aim on the head consistently, but as Namiel moves a lot here, they try, they're having trouble yeah. to, uh, to stagger Namiel here, definitely. That's right. Nice dodging by the Dual Blade player. They are consistently staying out of damage. They took a one hit a little while back, yeah. but they've been playing pretty safe. Oh, and that was very close. That was a close one. Just walked out of it. No problem. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Ooh, oh, and we see a second fade. That will be unfortunate. Uh, we will see this on, on the time, I feel like. That's right. It's going right. to take time. It will be a damper, but they have been putting in that damage. Let's see if the heavy Bogan player can close it out or if we'll need the return of his partner to close it out. I mean, the longer the fight takes, the less ammo we have here. So that's true. I'm that's curious true. if the normal ammo will be enough here, yeah, and, and he will not run out of ammo here. That's a end. very good point, Press. I didn't even think of that. So hopefully, the, the Namiel does not have too much health left. Oh, looks like Namiel is de-enraged. The can they please get, the get a third wall bang? Hopefully. Oh, oh no. my God! So it looks like no, he let go to not get hit by the attack. Okay. Yeah, but they jumped off of, uh, of the clutch claw here. Getting, ca getting caught by yeah. the water attacks, catching the water blight here. Watch out, he's in range of the oh. electrical shock. So because of the water blight, didn't have enough stamina left That's to, right, to yeah. perform the Superman jump. Uh, they're, they're struggling. Getting this the help back, trying to get that Nobury and watch out for this blood. Oh, oh, oh. oh. hit him with a 1-2. All right, that's okay. Those hitboxes, man, they're really harsh. <laughs> they're really harsh. That's right. Now, Namiel is still unenraged. I want them to at least get a, a wall bang. Please, they've been started out of O, oh, and we that's see a, a third fate thing. number three. That will definitely be unfortunate. That's one thing that is definitely going to hurt this team quite a bit. At this point, I just want that wall bang. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I just hope for the best. Hey, oh, and we see a second vibe check. Do they pass Superman, it? Yeah, Let's we have see. enough stamina at this point. Yeah, so that's good. Ooh, I was, I was that's the only way there. for the duelist player to escape. That's right, the only right, way. Yeah. All right, so All let's right. see. Heavy Bogan player is back in commission. They got to play their I last cards, man. Right, I don't think the... Okay, can we see it? Let's oh, see. that's too far. No, 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 that's too far. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, they go. Oh, okay, they got it. Oh, my God. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. Can we, get, can we get some applause for this wall yeah, bang, yeah. guys? <laughs> if they didn't Finally. get that time, I was going to call RNG Jesus himself. <laughs> Jesus. All right, very nice. All right, let's keep that damage going. Now, the Heavy Bogan player does not have the max health. I don't think he has another max potion or ancient potion. So he's playing with uh, the half hell bar, I believe, right now. 
They might actually run out like of that. those good items here at this yeah. point. So, oh, and there we, we go. finally take it down. Nice. That was I'm a glad, journey. I'm glad the, yeah. I'm glad the audience still got hype for them. A. Hey. Now, and we have the team QA, that is TSC, and also Sam. It's also a pre pretty experienced speedrunner team. We have here Sam, who was part of the champion. He's one of the two champions that's right, from that's 2018. Right. He's and already won before. He's just back to take the, take the title again. Yeah, and they split up. So we had social dissonance with Shepard, who was one of the champions. And here is Sam, the other champion, now competing with TSC. And a little bit more background. They've actually named their team Kua as a well-known kind of meta-defining player. They would kind of like to dedicate this tournament to him. Oh, we see that. Oh, we see that. All awesome. right, let's go. Okay. So Jeez. yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna entry the arena at the back side again. Right, right. And they instantly. said they will hmm. get a sub three if they're really fast. Yes, they are very confident players, and I think they can actually back it up. They're going in. Start double clutch claw. So see one goes strategy. for tenderize. One goes for wall slam. All right, all right. The nice start. We get the we wall bang right away. Now they're gonna have to tenderize again. Insect Glaive is a light weapon, so you have to clutch claw twice to get the tenderize, but was, they got the start they wanted. What was really interesting yeah. to see is that the Insect Glaive player already knew where Namiel was falling down, so they did this so many times that the Insect player didn't even have to change the camera anymore. Right, yeah. Going and we get a second wall bang because Namiel wasn't banned. Very nice. Sam Grass putting the mouse in the dirt. All right, we see some Duble putting out that good damage. Again, as usual, as we've said, Namiel right now is in its hydrated state, taking more fire damage. Let's see if, it, hopefully, it vibe checks later so they can do more damage. Now, right. interesting about the Insect Glaive loadout is that they have an impact mantle, so they will be able to deal KO damage with That's the right, Insect right. Glaive. Oh, and we're getting that mantle. Again, making use of something that Insect Glaive can offer, as well as lands, but we hadn't seen it so far. Only one mount before. We got another mount. Obviously, the mount is great with the, with the Insect Glaive. They don't really need the ledge for it. Let's see what the dual blades player is doing at the right. same time. Very quick mount, and then right back into it. Very optimal. Trying to not waste too much time with the mount. Retenderizing. Very nicely done. Dual Blade putting out some really nice damage. Now, yeah. we see the Insect Glaive uh, has the Impact Mantle on, is doing a lot of attacks. Is this to get a KO? And I think it is, making use of that Impact Mantle. Interesting. So they did a lot of Clutch Claw attacks to do a lot of Impact damage to get that KO. Very nicely done. And the Insect Glaive also has a lot of Dragon Element, and not Dragon Element is the second highest elemental weakness of Namiya, um, which also is able to do some extra damage That's right. here. This, I, was, I was about to say, this team has been so uh, optimal right now. Namiel didn't have any water on the floor until now. Very yeah. nicely done. Namiel they got another top. And also, like, Insect Life not, not only has it an impact mass, but Slugger level 3. Ooh. So the KO damage is insane. Sam like, is second KO. Moving in the for. air. I like that. He pulled vault into the air. A second the air. KO second with KO. the Insect Life. Very Ladies nicely gentlemen. done. That's some great play. Ooh, I like That's that. some big plays here. Going full avatar with the insect glaive, jumps into the air, did a uh, second KO, making the most out of that impact mantle. It will be running out soon. Will they get a third KO? They Gotta just, wait and see. They just don't waste any time. Let's see, will they be able to keep that strategy up? Because they, they said they have a script. Team QA said they have a script that's going to be like an 80 to 90% really chance to they pull They got up another fire. Sam Grass still has that impact mantle. Can we see another KO? He's going in for it. They're keeping up that damage. Again, Namiel has like barely put water on the field. He hasn't even, she hasn't even vibe checked yet. Namiel still enraged, making use of the agitator skill as well. Right. Getting a lot of damage. The TSC is at half health. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Getting out of the way of this wave attack. Still got the waterproof mantle on. Very nice. It looks like that's the strategy to keep Namiel hydrated because both weapons are really fast weapons. Weapons that can deal and dish out a lot of elemental damage. That's it was right. dragon and fire. Yeah. That's a good point. This is probably the longest we've seen Namiel be in a hydrated state, and it hasn't. Oh, and they and got, got another. Can I is KO? Is top KO? This is another KO. KO. Number three. It? Oh, and it's already three down. Three KOs. Very That's nicely incredible, done. That's incredible, ladies and gentlemen. That's insane. That was very fast. Sam looking pretty that? confident. <laughs> Chris, that felt really fast. I mean, they that practiced was... it hundreds of times. And what goes, it goes to show they, they delivered here. They, they have one they try only. This team was Insane. coming in very confident. They were talking of that game. They backed it up.